everyone, today I have another custom LEGO minifigure review from Engineer EO. If you want to check out the other video I have of, uh, from him, you can click right up here in the top right corner. Uh, here is the business card, same as last time. Again, it's got custom Hawkeye in the front, his eBay shop, which link will be down below. And he also has an Instagram now, so that link will be down below as well. And you can always uh, hashtag eBay Engineer EO for uh, photos that you post of uh, his minifigs. Other than that, let's get right into the, uh, the review. Um, I got a gift right here, which is super awesome, super amazing, and uh, this as well. So we'll open this first. This is not a minifigure. This is more of an accessory for a minifigure, and I cannot open the baggie. There we go. Let's drop this out. You can kind of already see what it is, but this is Thor's hammer. You can see. So Lego Thor hammer is just gray. There's no printing on it at all, no detail to it, but... Uh, Engineerio printed on the hammer, and you can see it has the logo on it, right on the side right there. You can see it has the leather wrapping around the handle. You can see the inscription on the edge of the hammer, and it goes all the way, uh, it doesn't go all the way to the top, but it goes all the way to the sides and the other side, so it's pretty much mirrored. But that is an awesome little gift to get, and it will look, will look amazing on uh, a Thor minifigure, better than the plain old uh, gray hammer. So there's that. And then the gift right here was a minifigure, and this is the Ultimate Punisher. So here he is, he comes with uh, one of the Lego guns. These are in many sets. But here is the minifigure, this is the Ultimate Punisher. And I really like his face. He kind of looks like crossbones in a way. But he uh, has the Punisher face for his head. And you can see the red eyes. A little bit of some skull detail. The mouth of the skull. The nose. Cheeks. Uh, I really like the printing on it. Just line his head up. And then coming down to the chest and torso. You can see he has the signature logo of the Punisher on the chest. Which is the skull. And it's on every single Punisher minifigure. Just always in different designs for each version. Uh, you can see he's got some uh, buckles and straps at the shoulders. You can see some of the white accenting the side. He does even have some muscle detailing in there for his uh, midsection. You can see the straps come down. He's got some pouches. And then to the belt, you can see the Punisher logo has the belt buckle. Some pouches on the uh, belt. Minifigure can come apart. Does not hurt the printing at all. And then coming down to the waist and legs, again, the some of the detailing from the uh, body comes down, and then the white outline to the legs. You can see he's got some knee pads, some buckles on the sides, has a strap on his lower uh, right leg, and then he even has shoes or boots, whatever you want to call them, but you can see the white right here on the front, really nice. Printing on the side is just the arm near the wrist. You can kind of see the uh, two spots right here and then right there. Just some simple detailing, no printing on the side of the legs. And then to the other side is the same. The longer rectangle, the two squares, and then that's all the printing on the side. And then to the back of the minifigure, you can see these two straps that were at the shoulders come to the back. You can see the spine, shoulder detailing, the white on the sides. And then the, uh, the battle belt kind of along the waist, which has six pouches along it. And that is all the uh, printing and nothing on the back of the legs. So we're going to give him his gun, if I don't drop him, and then we'll give him his uh, Thor hammer as well, because why not? The Punisher now is OP. He's got Thor's hammer and his gun. I'm going to put him on the minifig stand. And one sec, do that. Okay, uh, we'll do this minifigure next. You can kind of see who this is. Let's open him right up. So now these are the ones I did purchase, so I got three of them. And this one right here is based off of Black Panther, and this is the uh, MCU version. This is from uh, Infinity War. This is what his suit is supposed to look like in Infinity War. So it's amazing, and I really love Black Panther. I love the designs that come out for him. I love his little headpiece. Of course, he's got the ears. No printing on the top, though, for that. But coming to his face, you can see it's the purple, yellow eyes. Very simple detailing and printing, but it looks awesome. You can see where the mouth would be, nose, the peak right there. Looks really nice. Coming onto his chest and torso, you can see he kind of has a logo on his chest. It's the uh, deeper uh, dark purple lines. You can see the, the C and then the line through it and some uh, lines going from the sides of it. 
You can also see his chest and uh, abs, and that's also outlined with the purple for his suit. Really nice. Coming down to his legs, you can see he only has um, some printing at the waist, but most of it's uh, at the lower legs part, which would just be more parts of his suit. Very simple, but it uh, looks great. To the arms, I like the arms. I like this detailing right here. Some more kind of like tribal printing, or a tribal look to it on his suit. And then this side is the same as well. I think it's the same. Yep, they're the same. And then there's no printing on the sides of the legs. And then to the back, again, he's got the muscle details. You can see purple under the shoulders and the sides. Nothing on the legs. And then it does come down to the back of the waist as well. Simple minifigure. But again, I love Black Panther, so I could not turn down getting him. And this version looks amazing. So, that's that one. Next one we'll do is, let's get him open really quick. Comes with some good accessories. I'm gonna, uh, I'll show his accessories in a second, but this is Hemdal from, again, the MCU, and he is from Thor. He is the gatekeeper, or the, um, he's the one who has the key to do the portal. I forgot what the portal's called. If you know what the portal's called, put a comment down below and let me know. But he's the guy who keeps watch and he can see everything pretty much. And you can see he's got the yellow eyes. Kind of angry look. He's got the goatee. So pretty simple face design. Coming down to his chest and torso, you can see he's got his suit on without his heavy armor on. So it's the red underneath. You can see he's got the chest. The line down the center, he's got abs. And then some of his armor is printed on here, right here, on the sides. Really nice printing. Coming down to his waist and legs. You can see the printing from the chest comes down to the waist, and then that flows down. So it looks one whole suit, and you can see it looks really nice. It just flows really well. And then coming down to his lower legs, you can see he's got boots on. So you can see the front of the boots. Great detailing with the gold. To the side, you can see he's got a glaive on, and then the um, it's just some detailing on the shoulder, or the upper arm. And then no printing on the side of the legs. And same as this side. Again, no printing on the side of the legs. Oh, I didn't even know he came with another face. That's awesome. So he's got an angry look. You can see the eyebrows and the eyes are the same, but his mouth has filled with his teeth. Very gritty look. I didn't know he had a second face, so that's awesome. Uh, to the back, you can see the muscle detailing, again, down the spine, the sides, and then the uh, lower part of his back has the belt. And then no printing on the back of the legs. Now, you might say he looks weird just looking like this, but I'm going to put his angry face on. And then he does come with his armor accessories, which are super nice. It's a tight fit. Oh, his head's not going <laughs> to... You gotta kind of wiggle it off. Yep, you're gonna have to wiggle the head off. Pushed it down. But here is him with his full suit of armor. Can't forget his sword. Put it like that. So here he is. Got his sword, his key, his chest and shoulder armor. He's got this awesome helmet that um, he has in the movies. You can turn his sword, you know, like he's sticking it in the, the keyhole. But I really like these accessories. Again, um, there's the back of it. It's kind of a tight fit. So you can see if you just kind of pull the head off, it, uh, the helmet off, it kind of pulls the head with it. you got to wiggle it off to get it off. But I'm good with it for now. So that was Hemdall. Put him on his base. And now time for our last minifigure. He has a couple of accessories and he's a little bit of a buildable. So we're going to get him open. Ah, there we go. All the pieces come out. He's got a cape in here. Some wrist armor. So I'm get this out. There we go. Nice cape quality. I'll show the mini figure really quick. He doesn't have his hands in because he has um, uh, pieces that go on his hands. So I'll show those in a sec. So he doesn't have hands at the moment. But here's the minifigure. Awesome printing on the face. I'm just kidding. It's a translucent green head. 
so no printing on the head. But coming down to his chest and torso, this minifigure is Mysterio. So he's the guy who wears the uh, glass dome on his head, and it's kind of filled. You know, he's he's kind of a magical dude. He can come. He can um, uh, control people with his mind pretty much, and he's a very strong, powerful dude. But uh, he has purple right here. So this is his chest and torso again. As I was saying, he, coming to the purple, he has the clips for his cloak or cape, which is right here. And I'll put that on after I get all the accessories on. Just want to show all the detailing. So that's what the purple is up there. And then he kind of has the lines on his suit. You can see he does have muscles, so chest and abs right there. It's kind of tucked into his uh, belt or pants, you can see, so it's a little more darker line here. Just those subtle details are nice. Along the belt, he just has the belt buckle or a logo right here, which is just two circles in the center. And then coming down to his legs and torso, you can see it's a lighter green, but same kind of detailing with the lines going through it all, like a checkered board pattern. And then to the boots, it uh, has two um, spots right here that are the green, and then the boots are the yellow. And you can see he has some white detailing lines for the boots. To the side, again, it's that checkered, uh, swervy line pattern that's on the arm. No printing on the legs. And then same as this side. And then to the back of me, if you're with no printing because his cape covers the back printing, which makes sense. So we're going to put his accessories on now. So these are his gauntlets. I said glaze. I meant they were gauntlets. Drop one. Hold on. So here's his first gauntlet. I'm gonna put that on. So that's one of them. Goes on around the wrists. If it was straight. Ah, that's crooked. There we go. Is it? It's hard to say. Hold on. Yeah, that looks straight. They kind of just move around. You can, you can adjust them. That looks, yeah, that looks right, just like that. So then all you do to put these on, is you take the gauntlet piece, you put it on the hand, and then you just stick it onto the hand hole, and there you go, they're on. So there are his hands. There's the minifigure with his hands, looking more like a completed minifigure now. Now we're gonna put his cape on. So to do this cape, it has the three holes. Again, this cape quality is really nice, and it's uh, it's it's a little stiff right now. Actually, not too bad, but with a little play in it, you can uh, pretty much form it in however you want. You start with the center one, and then you put the two sides on. If I can get the third one. Hold on. There we go. Then you put his head back on. Pretty simple. I really like this cape design, though. These ones are a little um, more like add more detail to the minifigures again it covers the back so it's smart not to put printing on the back and now time for his his dome piece so this is actually like Sandy Cheeks' air bubble helmet so it's an awesome it's a smart way to put the um, head on it's a little loose because I didn't push the head down all the way yep hold on I gotta push the head down all the way if I can open it back up, which I probably can't. Oh, what do I, I don't have anything to open it all on. There's little slits in the helmet to pop it open. If I can open it up. There we go, I got it. There we go. So just make sure to push the head down all the way so it doesn't make the um, the glass dome spin and I can't get the cape on. Okay, so that goes like that, goes like that. Push the head down all the way. So just make sure you put a lot of force into it, make sure it's down all the way. And then to put the helmet on, again, you just snap it on. It might be a little loose due to the cape. Yeah, so just the cape makes it a little loose. But this is the full minifigure. This is Mysterio. Again, now you can see he has his glass dome. The translucent head worked really well, especially since the green. It adds kind of a more color to it. If it was filled up, you can always put lighting, you know, backlighting for photos or anything like that. He's got his cape on, his armored on his eye hand. His hands are in now. So that is the full minifigure for Mysterio. And that was my last minifigure. So again... 
you want to check out any of these minifigures, links will be down below for them, of course, and Thor's hammer because that's also an accessory you can get. Check out my Engineerio video right up here. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you haven't already liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already uh, subscribed. Blah, blah. And as always, thanks for watching.